Knobs with finger grips are everywhere. It's not surprising, the grips really do make them a lot easier to turn. It's not uncommon to apply finger grips to a knob using a simple polar array of cylindrical cutouts. That works, but it's not always the most aesthetic choice. Also, if you have to grip it really tight, the sharp edges on the top and bottom of the knob can be a little uncomfortable. A little bit more contoured grip is very simple to implement, a little bit nicer looking, and a bit easier on the fingers. Start with the sketch on the XZ plane and choose the polyline tool. I just want to create a rotation profile up against the Y axis. Just rough it in. When working in the polyline tool, pressing M for mode changes how it draws. In this case, press M until it offers an arc. Now close the shape. Fix up this bottom line to be horizontal. Make the knob 12 millimeters thick and the part before the arc 30 millimeters. Because it was drawn using the polyline tool, tangency is already set on the arc. Set symmetry between the left hand points and the origin to center the sketch. The sketch goes green meaning it's fully constrained. Close the sketch. The sketch is already selected so click the revolve tool. Take the default 360 degrees. Create solid is already checked so click OK. That's the basics for the knob. Create a new sketch on the XZ plane. This will be the path for a sweep that will then cut out the finger grips. View cross section and bring in the arc as external geometry. Now select the arc from center tool. Set the center on the X axis. Bring it out to be outside of the knob with two end points roughly in line with the center. Select the two end points and the center and set a vertical constraint to give exactly a 180 degree arc. The cutouts for the finger grip should only be on the rounded edge of the knob. Select an end point of the external arc. Select the new arc and set a point on object constraint. Now adjust the center point of the new arc to decide exactly how deeply it cuts into the knob. Close the sketch. Select the sketch just created and create a new sketch. Map it from A normal to both. This will be a fairly common choice for mapping mode when creating a sketch to sweep along a path. Normally the profile will be centered on the origin so that it would sweep symmetrically around the path but in this case the path represents the innermost edge of the sweep. So create a circle affixed to the x-axis. Select the origin and the circle and set point on object. Close the sketch. Create a sweep. Select sketch 002 that we just created as the profile. Press sweep path and select our path sketch. Click done. Be sure to check Create Solid and OK. Before we go any further, I'll select the Revolve, select the Sweep, and Cut. I just want to have a look at how the cutout's going to appear in the knob. That looks basically correct. We can make a few adjustments later if needed, so I'll hit Ctrl Z to undo the cut. Next, create a polar array from the Lattice 2 workbench. Hide the revolve so we can see it. Select the array and in the data pane set the radius to zero. Click anything else to make that take effect. Set the count to nine. This will be the number of finger grip cutouts in the knob. Select the sweep, select the polar array, and populate with copies to give this interesting shape. It would also be possible to select the sweep and use a draft polar array but the Lattice 2 workbench is far less computationally intensive for the same end result. No point bogging the workstation down unnecessarily. Open the populated polar array and hide the sweep inside it just to get a cleaner display. Bring the revolve back. Select the revolve, select the populated array, and cut. That was mostly successful, but as you can see we missed one. This is one of those edge cases where minor floating point rounding errors cause FreeCAD to do the unexpected. 
I just need to nudge this thing a little bit to get it past the rounding error. Reopen the path sketch, sketch 001, view cross section, and drag the center point a little bit closer to the edge. That made it worse, so drag it a little further from the edge. Now everything's cut out. As you can see, we have the nice finger grips just as we would with a simple cylindrical cut, but the edge of the grip is a little bit more rounded and we avoid the 90 degree angle at the edge just to be a little bit more comfortable for the fingers and to look just a little bit better. But I think I'd like to have a few more cutouts. Go to the polar array and in the data pane set the number to 11. Now we're back to the rounding error. So open the path sketch again. Actually this time I think I'm going to go with a smaller radius moving the center towards the outside. Now open the profile sketch and shrink it down just a little bit. Perhaps enlarging it would have been a better idea. There we are. It's a bit fiddly but a couple of small adjustments got us around the problem and produced a very nice looking final result. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video or found it useful, please like, subscribe, and share. If there's anything you'd like to see covered here, please let me know in the comments below.